This uh, interesting little pocket size set here is the Sony TR817. You can see it's marked super sensitive and then in smaller print underneath it says RF. This is a, an 8 transistor set with a tuned RF stage as it states on the bottom here. The set came out in around uh, 1962. The power switch is on top. It's made out of machined aluminum. There's the tuning dial there, and the tuning meter, and then the power indicator. Which isn't really necessary, it's just to make the design symmetrical. You can see the tuning meter works quite well. There's a tone switch here. It has almost no effect, unfortunately. You can see this set really lives up to the uh, labeling right there. Even during the daytime, it picks up a bunch of stations, and at night, you know, the uh, dial is crowded with stations. Although, it's also super sensitive to interference, so if I had my computer on, for example, I would have just picked up a lot of buzzing noise. I guess that's the trade off. I also have the original case for this set, but uh, I'm guessing that some kid owned this previously and decided he would add his own little crude paint job to the set. If you know of a way to remove that without ruining the leather, I'd like to hear about it. But I think I'm probably just going to leave that alone. The set runs on one 9 volt battery, and it has kind of a novel battery compartment, which is all chewed up from someone trying to pry it open in the past. It is a little tricky to open, possibly from the damage, I don't know. You kind of have to like wiggle it a little bit to get the um, latch to come undone there. I'm of course not having any luck with it as I'm trying to do it on camera. There we go. See, it's all mangled. And the battery just kind of slips in place. So it's very easy to change batteries. The battery holder had broken loose um, you know, before I got this set, but I was able to kind of press it back into place and then glue it down. The only other thing this set needed uh, was just contact cleaner and the switch on the top and the volume control. And it works pretty well, especially when you consider that, you know, it was built in 1962, so these parts all have uh, some years on them. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video. Check out my channel, 50s Transistor Radios. I've got a couple of uh, other Sony sets, including the world's first FM transistor radio, the... TR-151. I have a video of that up if you're interested. Thanks for watching.